Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful sweater with turtleneck and with a braid here in the front and in the back too. You will see how easy it is. I have a long time without making a break with needles. So, so if you want to learn and are looking for something easy to make, well, this project is for you. I hope that you all enjoy and before we start, please subscribe. Well, this sweater is made in two pieces. We are going to start making one of the sleeves too and then we will complete the first front and then the back. I will show you how it is and uh, I will give you the materials and the step by step. This sweater is medium and we are going to use 600 grams of this material that it's a medium weight yarn. We are going to use the needles of number seven millimeters and we will use uh, stitches holders that we will use to make the braid. Well, we are going to start with one thread and with our needles casting on first stitches. Remember that we are going to make two pieces. These two pieces will be exactly the same for the front and for the back. We are going to cast on 42 stitches and I cast on the stitches like this. I know that exists a lot of different techniques, but this is the one that I like because with this you don't waste too much material. Well, so you first put the first loop in the needle and then like if we knit, literally, we are going to cast on the stitches, you see, without taking the needle away because later it will be um, a bit difficult to continue so I suggest that you keep your needle like this well here I have 42 stitches now I will uh, continue making more rows knitting like this I will make four rows like this I will go and then I will come back using the same stitch okay so like this we are going to knit four rows. Well here I made four rows, this is how it looks in the right and in the wrong side, you see? So we made four rows, we went, we came back, went and we came back, so here we have four rows. So this will be the beginning of our sleeve and like this is how we are going to finish the first part too. Well, uh, I'm going to show you I made this drawing. So here's where we start. We have 42 stitches plus 4 rows. So we are here in the line, right? So we are going to continue making more rows. Then we will increase to make the body and then we will reduce again to have the sleeve and finish with 42 stitches too and with the rows that we have just made. Well, this is in Spanish, but D means knit, R means pour. So we will make 12 uh, knit, 7 pour, 8 knit. And we are going to that direction. Okay, so here according to the drawing, we are going to knit 8. We are going to pass the first stitch, but we will still count. So here we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Then we are going to pour 7. So we will put the thread in front and this is how we are going to pour. We are going to place the needle behind and we will take the stitch, I mean the thread in front. You see? So like this we are going to make seven. This means that we pour. And seven. Then we have to make twelve. So we are going to need twelve. And we will keep and have the thread behind. You see the difference? So here we are knitting. We are going to make 12. 9, 10, 11 and 12. Then we are going to make 7, 4. So we are going to place the thread in front. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, 
and seven. And we are going to finish knitting the next eight stitches. Okay, and here we finish. Now we are going to the other direction. So according to the drawing, we are going this way. Okay, we are going this way. So as you could see at the beginning and at the end, we are going to need eight. This will be for the edge, but it will change. We are going to make where we pour in this row, we are going to knit. And where we knit in this row, we are going to pour. So we will start making the first eight stitches. We are going to knit eight here. We are going to pass the first stitch, uh, but we are going to still count it. So here we have four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then the next seven stitches, according to the drawing, we are going to knit them. I want to show you the difference. This means that we knit, and if we have the front, the thread in front, it means that you pour in the last row. You see? So here we are going to knit. But here I kind of twist the stitch, but it's okay, we can fix it. So we are going to knit seven and then the next 12 we are going to pour according to the drawing too. So this means that we are going to place the thread in front. Okay, so here I finish making 12. I pour 12, you see? So now according to the drawing we are going to knit seven. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Uh, no, yes, seven. And then we are going to um, knit eight, the last eight of the row. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight. So here we finished the row and now we are going to the other direction. Well, let's have a quick look right here. So remember that at the beginning and at the end of the row, we will need always seven, eight. Then we will have seven in each side because this will frame the braid that we are going to make in the middle. We will use these 12 stitches for the braid. Okay, so we are going to continue like this until we have six pleats like this one, you see? And then it will change. So first, let's finish this segment of six pleats and I will see you there. And remember, we are going to follow this drawing according to the direction, okay? Once this row and once the other row. And like this until we have six pleats in front. Well, so here we have these six rows, you see, this is the beginning, then the seven stitches, here we are going to make the braid, then seven stitches, and then we finish again with eight. So can you tell the difference of textures and stitches? So, so far you have some, you must have to have something like this. Well, here to start, I will make the cross earlier. In the future, I'm going to make more rows and then I will cross. But well, when we are about to start the row number six, we are going to um, cross, okay? So here we are in the fifth row and here I'm going to cross. Basically, we are going to continue with the same drawing that I to told you, we are going to continue using the same stitch, we are going to start the same at the beginning and at the end of the row and according to the direction we are going to change the row and um, we are going to make the braid in the middle in this case as I told you as I explained we are going to make the crossing before and this is how we are going to make okay so here we are finishing we are going to pour these seven stitches so now we are in this section where we have the 12 stitches for the braid. So we are going to take 
the stitches holders and we are going to take only six so here we have three and six we are going to take them and leave it in the stitch holder and then we are going to continue with the next six and we are going to knit them five and oh, sorry and six then this is how we are going to cross you see we are going to take the stitches that we have in the stitches holders and we are going to take them back to the needle so this means that we cr that we are crossing you see if you don't have any stitches holders like like me well you can use a chopstick or a ribbon or something these stitches holders are very useful so I highly recommend that you have one okay so like this we are going to come back and take all the stitches back in order okay be careful in this step be patient and take all the stitches back and you must have six again if something happened like this you can use the hook or so it's for you it's easier but we can fix okay use the hook okay and now that we have six stitches here we are going to knit them you see how easy it is after we crossed we are going to make following the same instructions and according to the direction remember that once we come and then when once we came back you see if you are not sure about the directions put a marker or so use some colors to point it out where you are going to uh, come back and where you are going after we cross following the same instructions and the stitch that we have been making I suggest that you make approximately 10 or 12 rows more and then you are going to cross again well I will get ahead I will continue making more rows remember to follow the drawing and if you want take a picture okay so let's count like this so here is where we crossed just give me a sec well so here we have again this is where we crossed so from here we will start counting here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve rows so here again is where we are going to cross okay so after these twelve rows we are going to cross again Okay, so if I'm correct, so we are going to use also the stitches holders and we are going to take these first six stitches, we are going to take them out and then we are going to, I'm sorry here I miss one, so here I have three, okay, and six, very slowly, take your time, take all these stitches out and then we are going to continue with the next six so far I have been following the instructions on the drawing remember so here we are going to need five and six and then we are going to take these stitches back and we are going to cross we are going to take them to this second needle the one that we have here so here we have two stitches three remember that you must have six four five and six and we are going to need one and like this is how we crossed it's so easy right I feel that when you said that you are going to make a braid it sounds difficult but as you could see it's so easy like this we have six and we have already crossed 
and then we are going to continue again making 12 rows until we crossed again. And we're also following the same instructions. Uh, remember that each two 12 rows, sorry, we are going to cross. But well, we are going to complete 30 centimeters and then see you there because I will show you how we are going to increase to make the body. Well, so here we have the 30 centimeters that I need. You see, remember each 12 rows is where I cross the braid and so far we have something like this. It, remember that it will depend on how we, cr we need. That's why I give you the centimeters. Okay, so you can take as a reference. So, so far until here I have 30 centimeters and it happened that here I have to cross again to make the braid. So I will show you how we are going to make it, but also at the same time we are going to increase some stitches to continue with the body. So we will start the same with these 8 stitches first. Well, then we have seven stitches. We are going to turn seven stitches into 14. Okay, the stitches that are before the braid. So we are going to increase seven stitches here. Okay, before of where we start the braid. So we are going to increase like this. We have the thread here behind and here we are going to pour. But before we are going to increase one stitch here using this space. So we increase one and we pour one. Again, in this space that we have here, we will use it to increase one and pour the next one. So as you could see, before we pour, we increased one until we have 14 stitches. I will continue making this with you so we can review and you can see exactly how it is. And it's important also that if you need a little bit loose because later it will be difficult, I don't know if you notice so far, a little bit of difficulty. So it's better that you need loose, that you're relaxed and it will be so much easier. Okay, so here we have sixth and here we are going to increase the last one and we are going to pour so now if you count them instead of having seven you have 14 now and well now here we are going to take the next uh, six uh, stitches back because we are going to cross remember that each two 12 rows we are going to cross so we are going to take these six stitches in the stitches holder like this. Then we are going to take them out and we are going to knit the next six. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we are going to take this stitches back and here we have one two three four five and six and well here just it seems to be a little bit tight because remember that we cross so that's why so it's completely okay don't worry and here we are going to need the next six stitches here we have five, uh, four five and six then again we are going to repeat what we made in the other side here in this coming seven stitches we are going to increase one before so remember that here we are going to pour. At the end, instead of having 7, we are going to have 14. So we are going to increase 1, then pour. Here we have 2. And then we will finish making the last 8 stitches for the edge. Well, 
and with this increased, remember that now instead of having 7 stitches, we will have 14. With this, we will, with this same number of stitches, we are going to continue more rows. We are going to follow the same instructions. Remember, each 12 rows we are going to uh, cross and uh, we are going to respect the direction of the first rowing that I showed you. Remember the, the stitches. When we came back, it will be one in one way and when we go it will go in a different way so I suggest that you have your drawing with you you take notes what's next use some markers and just enjoy like this we are going to continue making more rounds remember that it will depend on how you need in my case approximately I'm going to stop until I have 60 centimeters and then there I will stop because then I will show you how we are going to reduce to make the sleeve and to came back where we were okay so I will give you homework we will continue making more rows and um, please crochet a little bit loose and enjoy I did get ahead I did my homework I hope that you did too and we are going to continue as you could see I continue making more rows and here's where we increased remember and after this if you count them I made 50 a series and I have 60 centimeters long okay so you can take it as a reference because remember that we all need it different and you can take these centimeters as a reference so you know that when you arrive and have 60 centimeters Right there, we are going to reduce and repeat what we made at the beginning. So this is how we are going to reduce. And we are going to continue like we used to, okay? We are going to need the first eight stitches. So here we have four, five, six, seven, and eight, okay? Then remember that here we had first seven right and then we increase one and we turn into 14 well now we are going to uh, have seven again and we are going to need two together okay this is how we are going to reduce as you could see we are taking two together and we are knitting them like this please count also I suggest that if you can put a marker to see so here we have two four six and eight so here we have the first eight stitches three four five okay so we are going to reduce two more and seven okay so now we reduce you see so then we are going to pour one for two, three, four, five, six, okay, six and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, then here we arrive again. Of the section where we have these 14 stitches so we are going to reduce again remember we reduce by knitting two together so here we have one then two three four I suggest that you knit a little bit loose because as you could see when it's a bit tight you may have a little trouble there okay so relax and and knit loose so here we have seven again then we are going to knit the last eight to finish the row so here we have two three four five six seven and eight 
So again, here we have the same number of stitches that we had at the beginning, remember? So we are going to make what we made in the other side. Remember that first we start and we finish the row with 8 and then we have 7, 7 and then 12 here in the middle. So we are going to repeat. Here I count the series that I had and I made 30. If I'm correct, we had 30 centimeters, right? So we must have the same number of centimeters in one side than in the other. Also, we are going to twist the stitches and make and continue drawing the braid. Okay, so we are going to make what we made at the beginning. Well, here I stop. Here I put a marker to point it out where I reduce. I count the series that I made. I mean these splits. I have 27. I will stop right there because remember that the last three will be for the edge that we made. Remember that we made this edge at the beginning. So we are going to repeat and we are going to make them. We just need the last three rows in general. So we went, we came back and we went just knitting. Well, so here I finished the row. I have the same number of centimeters in one side and in the other. So now we are going to pin it off. To pin it off, we are going to take two stitches together and we are going to knit them and we are going to take the loop that we have in the second needle back to the first needle, like this. And as you could see, we are going to draw a kind of braid in the edge. You have to make this a little bit loose, okay? Because if not, the shape of your braid may distort. So uh, relax, and I like to do it with your with the needles. I know that some of you uh, know how to make it with the hook. If you know, it's correct. But well, I just wanted to show you how you can make it with the needles. Uh, once we finish to pin off, I suggest that you leave a long thread because we will use that thread later to sew. Well, now that we finished this one, remember that we are going to make a second piece exactly like this one, with the same number of rows, centimeters, and everything. One will be the front, and the other will be the back. So, see you when we finish to make these two pieces, and then I will show you how we are going to sew them and join them. Okay, so see you there. Well, look, here I have both pieces ready. Remember that where we reduce will be the sleeves and these two pieces of the middle will be for the neck and for the back, okay? So this build the sleeves and here it's where we are going to put the neck. I suggest that you try on and once you are ready and you are sure, we are going to sew one of the sleeves and then a little bit of the shoulder. Okay, we are going to leave the space for the neck and then we are going to make the same in the other side. Here I want to make a turtle neck. So in my case I don't have the circular needles. So I will only sew one side and I will leave the space free. I will make the neck, the turtle neck that I want and later I will sew the second part. There's the other shoulder and the other sleeve. So this is what I will make. Uh, if you have, you can use this embroidery needle or then with your hook, but I suggest embroidery needle. So we are going to sew only one part. I will use the embroidery needle. Remember that I told you to leave a long thread because we will use it. So we are going to sew only one part. We are going to use the invisible stitch that if you have watched my videos, remember that this is the stitch that I always use because with this you won't create any pleat. So we are going to take one stitch from one side, taking the stitch to the bottom to the top. Okay, like this. We will go in order. We are going to take one stitch from one side and then one stitch from the other side. Okay, to the bottom to the top, like this. And we are going to sew the sleeve and part of the shoulder too. And we will leave open the other side. 
Well, so we arrive until here. Also, we saw part of the shoulder and we used the invisible stitch. So now we are going to leave the space for the neck. So from here to here, I have 28 series, approximately 30 centimeters. Okay, then uh, as I told you, we are going to leave the other side free because to me it's easier to cast on the stitches in this side and also here and then make the neck like this and then we will close it in one side and well of course the most important is that you try on and your head must perfectly fit here okay and once you are sure well now we are ready to continue with the next so I will show you well I finished to sew this is the wrong side I put two markers where I'm supposed to arrive and here is where I will start, a, how do you say, uh, casting on the stitches, okay? Here I will put the thread and then here where is the marker, I will start casting on. Remember that we are in the wrong side. So here I will take the first loop after the marker, okay? So right here. It is important. Uh, we once we are going to um, insert the needle right here where we have this uh, lid and we are going to take one stitch from there so once we are going to do it and once we are going to skip it you see here we took it then here we skip it so in the next one we are going to uh, take it from there and between the spaces we will always take the stitch you see we are going to skip this one so it means that in the next one we are going to take it so we are going to continue casting on the stitches like this okay we are going to continue we are going to keep them all of this in this needle we are going to continue here and then we are going to jump and continue until the other marker is and we must have the same number in one side than in the other. Well, here I finished to casting on the stitches and I have 84, okay? So you must have the same number in one side than in the other. So in total I have 84. So now the stitch that I will make is that I will need all of them. I will need when I go back and when I came back okay so I will need all of them I don't know exactly how many rows do I need for the turtleneck but I will continue and when I finished I will let you know how many rows I made it will look like this well here I finished I made 12 series okay this will be enough if you want you can make it longer here I leave a long thread because we are going to sew it the same way that we made here we are going to sew the neck with this long thread that I leave and also the shoulders and the leaves okay so now we are ready to close it that's why I told you to leave it open okay then you can fold it and you will look so pretty like this if you want you can make more rows as I told you and we are going to bend off the stitches the same way that we that I thought you have to be in the remember with the needles well when we finish well now with the embroidery needle we are going to sew the neck like this and then we will continue with the shoulders and with the slip too we are going to sew the bottom too we are just going to stop where we start to increase we are going to leave the space for the body and then we are going to jump and sew the other side too okay we are going to sew the same number of stitches in one side and in the other and and well I suggest that you leave it like this don't iron it because if not with puffiness will it uh, lose so just leave it like this I think it's enough if you feel that you're um you're like needed to it okay if not uh, just be careful here I think that where is the braid I will make a row of single crochet so it can reduce and it don't lose 
the shape of the braid, okay? But first I want that my daughter try on and see if it needed, how it's, it looks and everything. Remember that it, before you do something, I suggest that you try on. But well, I will make the same in one side than in the other. But first I will see how she looks and then I will decide and I will tell you. Well, guess what? I finished to sew. It's perfect. Uh, my daughter try on and she loves it. But guess what? Here I feel a little bit loose. So I will make a single crochet row with the hook. I will use the hook of number 4 millimeters. So right here where is the, the pleat, I will insert the hook and also while we crochet we can uh, hide the threads that we have here. So I will crochet over these threads so I can hide them like this. So, so we are going to make one single crochet in each space. So I will go in order and it will look different. I think that it will look so much better. This is only if you need to, okay? So in case that you don't know how to, here I teach you. You can uh, make a single crochet row like this. Okay, so we are going to continue. And well, now that we are here, I want to invite all of you to subscribe. Remember that it's completely free. You just have to click the red bottom that it's here below in gray and you are subscribed. It means a lot to me um, to make a video, it's so much work. I do it with all my love <laughs> and the best reward will be that first that you watch it, of course, that you uh, be my company, but also that you subscribe. Well, here where is the braid, we are going to uh, reduce the stitches like this. Instead of leaving the hole and just skip one, we are going to transform one stitch into one, like this, you see? And like this we are going to continue making single crochet. This is in the area where we have the braid. And then for the rest we are going to continue making a single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so like this we are going to make the same in the other slip too. You see how it looks. Okay, so now we are going to continue making a single crochet row. One in each stitch. And remember that we are going to make the same where the other braid is. And then we will continue. And while we make this, we are going to hide the threads. Well, I did the same. Here where I have the braid, I reduced the same way I taught you. Okay, at the end here I will just slip one to close and then I will make one row more of single crochet all around. Here I want to skip, I will just continue making one in each space like this. Okay, and I will make the same in the other side too, in the other slip. And remember that all of these small details matter and it will look so different and beautiful too. Well, here I finished to make the second row of single crochet. Remember that while we're making one side, we are going to make it in the other side too, in the other slip. I suggest that you count how many stitches you have, so you can have the same number in one side than in the other. And at the end, with embroidery needle, we are going to hide all the threads that we may have. Remember that it's important that we hide them a little bit before we cut. With this, we will make sure that our stitch and our, our project gets protect. So we are going to hide the embroidery needle first, a little bit through all the project. And then we are going to pass the thread through the needle like this. And now we are ready to cut. If you want, also, you can... Um, burn the tips with the lighter a little bit and that's it. So it looks so much better because the sleeve looks loose, right? So 
now we finished and now let's see how it looks well i hope that you all enjoy making this beautiful sweater with me if you want in the neck you can put a cord all around or a brush or a bottom like you want this sweater was so easy to make please don't forget to subscribe it's completely free to give me a like to leave a comment and to share this video if you like stay tuned in my social media because there i will share more projects thank you so much for watching till the end take care bye bye